All right, so now, Crystal, yes. uh, there's this clip of Howard Stern that's going viral. And, you know, in, in right-wing land, they're using it to, like, beat up on him and be like, ha-ha, what an idiot. But, you know, I've also seen other reactions to it as well. Curious what you think of it. Let's take a look. I kind of take that as a compliment that I'm woke. I'll tell you how I um, feel about it. To me, the opposite of woke is being asleep. And if woke means I can't get behind Trump, which is what I think it means, or that I support people who want to be transgender or I'm for the vaccine, well, dude, call me woke as you fucking want. I'm not for stupidity. You know, I ran out Friday morning. I was over at CVS. Thank you, CVS. I went over there 9 a.m. and got myself that new vaccine for COVID. So my take on this is it's indicative of the fact that we absolutely have hit peak anti-wokeness mm. because, you know, and you talked about this quite a bit as well. There was a poll that came out which showed that, like, even among Republican voters, the notion of, like, wokeness and all the issues around it are polling very, very low. Yeah. Like, nobody cares about trans people. Nobody like all these things are minuscule compared to material issues. And what you saw is Vivek Ramaswamy, who was running as the anti-woke guy, mm -hmm. and Ron DeSantis, who was running mm -hmm. as the anti-woke guy. After that poll came out, they all switched on a dime. I haven't yeah. heard them say the word woke since. Yeah. And then now you get, you know, Howard Stern, who certainly lost a lot of clout and prominence from his heyday back in the 1990s when everybody cared every little word he said. But now you see something like this. I don't think anybody would have said this two years ago. Mm. I don't think anybody would. Actually, I'm proudly woke. That's not something that you would have heard. And he goes, actually, I am proudly woke. He says the opposite of woke is asleep. And he defines it as if you're saying I'm anti-Trump, hell yeah, I'm anti-Trump. You're saying I support trans people. Hell yeah, I support trans people. You're saying I, I support the vaccine and think it works. Hell yeah, I support the vaccine and think it works. Yeah. To me, it's indicative of the fact that like everyone has a different definition for what this word means, yeah. mm -hmm. which is part of what it made it not have political potency. I mean, Trump kind of ident identified this even as he would back bash wokeness. He also said like, ah, nobody really knows what it means. <laughs> <laughs> and so, because Howard Stern, like, what is he known for? Being the over-the-top, vulgar, raunchy shock jo jock, which is definitely the opposite of being overly political, cor politically correct, which was kind of the original idea, negative idea of wokeness. So for the, him then to turn around and embrace the term, like, hell yeah, I'm woke, it, to me it just... It is indicative of the fact that it is a word that has no content or no meaning or at least no shared content or meaning and has become sort of like utterly politically useless. I do think, though, it became to mean what he's describing it as, which is like the catch all boogeyman for people on the right. Anything that's vaguely related to the left or liberals or Democrats is woke. Yeah, that's how I think it came to be used. The original idea of it, there's a positive connotation and a negative connotation definition. The positive one, I'd say, is alert to injustice. That's the way it was originally used in a positive sense. The way it was originally used in a negative sense is authoritarianism in defense of perceived social justice. Yeah. Right. So those are the two, those are the two different definitions. The way he's using it is more how it came to be used, which is, you know, this this is woke. That is woke. Everybody's woke. My grandma's woke. The, the the military's woke. You're woke, woke, on, so you're woke the on a bank, goat. Banks you're woke, are woke. woke on a boat. You're woke with a goat. <laughs> like that's how it came to be used, right? Yeah. And so he's like, okay, if you want to define it as anti, you know, I'm anti-Trump. Yes. And look on that front, it's like if that is the definition you're going with, then absolutely, I would say I'm woke too. If you say the definition is the being authoritarian in defense of perceived social justice, like banning speakers who say messed up things, then I would say I'm not woke. Then I would say I'm anti-woke. Exactly. Which is why, again, I think the word has become like sort of worthless and meaningless because if every time you use a word, you have to define what it means to you in that moment. And by this definition, I mean it. And by that definition, I don't. Then how is this even useful, a useful term for us in terms of the political lexicon at this point? Yeah. And I mean, I also think everything eventually comes back to where people what people really care about, which is material interests. And so you could try to spark up culture war stuff as much as you want, but you end up ultimately looking ridiculous. Look at the people over on the Daily Wire. They can't go seven seconds without talking about trans people mm -hmm. and they look ridiculous and they look stupid. You got people like Michael Knowles calling for mass arrest at Pride Parade. In defense of Lauren Boebert, who was jacking somebody off in a movie theater or in a theater at Beetlejuice. <laughs> Somehow the jacking off in public is fine, but you can't have trans people exist in public. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I think that it's like, here's the thing. The anti-woke crusaders started to embody all of the qualities and characteristics that they claimed they hated about the woke. Yes. The whole idea was, oh, you're too woke. You're going to care about like, 
a female video game character's tits? That's so stupid. You want to control people? That's like woke nonsense. But then it became on the anti-woke side. It's like, you have a black character in Star Wars? <laughs> yeah, or like, yeah, or how could you how dare you make the little mermaid black or whatever? Right. It's well, like who was, gives a fuck? <laughs> there's this term woke scold, right? Where mm -hmm. it's like the idea is you're like the school mom, you're constantly policing, like looking for word infractions or whatever. And yeah, they have taken on those characteristics That's right. of constantly like, oh my God, the map in Barbie was not right. And <laughs> I didn't like how this character talked about this thing. And, oh, Snow White. Did you see the latest Snow White controversy? And, and so it's very unappealing. I mean, it's very unappealing to have a group of people who's constantly policing and obsessing over these minor, trivial, identity-based details. Yeah, like if you're talking about Disney movies and video games and you think it's like serious political commentary go fuck yourself, right? <laughs> like, really? Fucking Disney movies, and you're like, I'm morally grandstanding on the Disney issue. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. What are you talking about? You got anything to say about tax the, rates like, or unions or war or anything that actually matters? Or, like, the biggest problem facing our children is, like, the My Special Unicorn book in the library or whatever right, it is yeah, that they're uh, freaking oh out God. against. <laughs> yes. Oh, God. So, yeah, I mean, I think this commentary from uh, Stern, like, a year or two ago, people would have been like, ha, oh, what an idiot. But now you hear it, and you're like, oh, I get what he's saying. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. So. Indeed.